thanks to Bangtown Productions, I'm finally, I feel great musically. Like, man, I remember when it started. Like, I was only in the eighth grade. I didn't see it coming. I didn't even think I liked music that much. But, like, as soon as I heard about the program, I'm like, well, I can rap? I hear this all the time on the radio? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Like, what? Man, and I just cherish every moment, you know? Like, I went from only making beats to being a part of the rap session to bait, almost like feeling like I'm running it, you know? And then I actually did run my own session. Like, teaching with the kids and like really sitting down with them and having the patience to show them something new instead of them being out, you know, in the streets or wherever, you know? Because being in a city of high violence and high poverty, you know, it's only certain avenues, you know, for the kids to go to, just being honest. But this program is really helped sustain that. Like, I know I know a lot of people that have been in this program have really cherished it. And because of them taking their time to do this, you know, they done better stuff with their life instead of being in the streets, you know? So, hmm. I remember I was at Southwestern, the school that I went to. I actually ended up teaching there, which it felt really great. Like, I don't know, I felt like Mr. Randall, you know? <laughs> it, it's crazy. Teacher, the student becomes the teacher, right? But um, just seeing my classmates and how they, they looked up to me, because I was, I was kind of like a poster child for the program, I feel, you know? And like, I don't know, I was doing something completely different than what other people, you know, said was kind of, said was cool, okay? People gonna always tell you stuff looks cool, but it's all about what's right. And like, what you feel and what I felt was music. So I'm great that, I'm thankful and grateful that this program took me to a whole nother level musically. And also it taught me more how to be a man and to have patience and have integrity. And um, I don't know, I just listen to others now quite frequently and I'm more open. Um, working with the kids, man, <laughs> it was a great time. It was a blast. Like, I, I could see how they was just so amped up to record a song or to make a beat. They're like, what you about to do? You know, I like your beats. Play them. You know, like, just seeing that, it just brought a certain, like, level of angst in me. Like, uh, I felt the love. You know what I'm saying? Instead of all the violence and you know, stupidity that goes around uh, in Flint. But it's not just in Flint. This goes on just about everywhere. Um, but unlike Flint, everywhere doesn't have this program. That's why I really feel like it should be wider based. Well, I worked with a production team called The Graduates. I worked with uh, Najee Gant and Ryan Barton. And we uh, actually produced for two years. We worked with Juvenile. We worked with Kevin Gates. We worked with Top Authority, which is a Flint-based rap group. They're pretty much legends here. Um, I've worked with some of the Dayton family. And I also have an upcoming thing, upcoming song with Project Pat, which I, is pretty cool. Like, um, I feel like the cream of the crop here. I mean, not to boast or brag, but because of this program, like, I get to have the luxury of working with artists because I started young, and you know? And that's one thing that, ain't, that they don't teach you. Music now is becoming a, a thing that a lot of kids will want to be into, and, you know? And it's very um, lucrative in how you can turn it around. And you don't always have to be a rapper. Like, you can be a producer, you can be an engineer. You can work the cameras. You can be anything you want in this industry. And this program shows you that. You know, even if you wasn't rapping, even if you wasn't um, making a beat, it was still people in there, you know, doing something in a classroom, you know, um, just for even support. Like, all of that matters. Because you don't get that all the time, especially with how fast paced things are now. And 
how our attention pan our attention spans are so fast and you know like it's it's great to slow down and see somebody have patience with you to learn a new thing because people do not want to teach you stuff now they want to get over you you know just to do the do the next thing so they can be successful but other people don't want to see you successful but this program does and that's what i cherish